Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be doing a review on a ton of Maybelline products. Maybelline recently came out with this foundation right here which is the Superstay Full Coverage 24 Hour Foundation. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this was a foundation that Maybelline came out with like a couple years ago, but I think it's back now and it has like new packaging and new foundation colors. So I'm excited to try it out because it has full coverage on it and you guys know that is my jam. So we also have the Total Temptation eyeshadow palette right here. We have the primer. We have these little lip kits that come with like a metallic lip and also a matte lip. We also have the little beauty blender sponge thing from Maybelline and it has like a curved dip kind of side so I'm excited to try that out. Um, but yeah we have like a ton of Maybelline products to try out. I'm so excited especially for the foundation because it says full coverage and I feel like I got a really good shade. So we'll see. But yeah if you guys want to see my review on these products in just case. Okay, so this the is the Maybelline Total Temptation palette. It has... Four. It has eight eyeshadows and then these two right here are supposed to be highlighters. I'm going to go in with this shade right here and apply this in the crease. Okay, the eyeshadow seems a little bit lighter as I apply it on my crease than it is in the actual pan. And I'm actually going to do a wear test on the foundation. Like I'm going to wear it throughout the day and really let you guys know a full first impressions of what it is. Now I'm going to take this one right here, which is like a darker brown shade. Okay, Maybelline, I'm going to need y'all to get it together. These eyeshadows look the exact same now. Like, how is this supposed to be a dark brown and it looks the exact same shade as the orange one? So this shade is a joke. So I'm going to go in with this black shade and hopefully that has some type of pigment. The black is not terrible. But it's still more of like a gray color. I'm going to go on with this shade right here and apply this as my lid shade. Oh my god. This matte looks, I mean the shimmer looks awful. I hate it. I hate to do this but the eyeshadow is just not working for me. I do not like this palette. The eyeshadows in here are awful. I am going to try to use the highlighter later on, but I just feel like all, all these eyeshadows look exactly the same. It's not blending well. That shimmer is driving me crazy. So I'm just going to take my eyeshadow off and we're going to start over and just go right into face because I can't, I can't deal. I'm using the new Maybelline primer. This one is the Hydrate and Smooth one, but it's like a white situation. And it feels more like a lotion. As opposed to like, oh it stinks, um, as opposed to like that silicone feel. This is the foundation. It's the Superstay Full Coverage 24 Hour Foundation. I did get the shade Warm Sun. I'm going to be using this Maybelline Beauty Blender to blend it out. So it has like this little curved edge to it. And it's pretty big. I put it under the water and it got like super big. Let's start off with two pumps first. Okay. Yeah, that color looks like it's going to be really good. So the color is definitely yellow for sure or definitely orange but it doesn't look awful. Um, I am going back in with a couple more pumps because I feel like this foundation, I don't know if it's the sponge but it's definitely taking a lot of foundation to get as much coverage as I want. This is supposed to be a matte foundation. Um, I don't know if it's because of the Beauty Blender or because I used this primer, but it's not looking so matte on me. Um, it's more of like a satin matte finish, so I still have a little bit of glow to the face, which I like. The foundation definitely is a little yellow, but in person it looks pretty good. Um, I'm going to like put highlight and all that kind of stuff on, and then I feel like it'll look good. Um, the color will match better. I am going to conceal with the Tarte Shape Tape, and I want to use that sponge just to see if I like it. I don't know. <laughs> So I'm just going to do all right here. And this is um, the Tarte Shape Tape in Tan. And then I'm going to go over my lids too since we're not going to be applying any eyeshadow.
I do really like this sponge. I think that it blended out everything really well. It didn't take away any product, which is one of like my biggest pet peeve with sponges. Um, I do like this sponge, but I feel like I need to get like all up in here a little bit better. So I'm just going to take this little smaller brush and really get up under here. But I do really like this sponge. I feel like it didn't take any product away and it really blended it out like super quickly. Wow. This foundation looks so good, y'all. Yes. Okay, and then I'm going to take the sponge just a little bit more and just go over everything so we're nice and seamless. I'm a pretty good judge of foundations. We'll just makeup in general because I have so much and I try so much. But this foundation, like... I can't wait to see how it looks throughout the day, but as of right now, it's it's popping, for sure. So I'm gonna go ahead and try out the highlighter in this palette. Hopefully it's good, because the eyeshadows were just not. So I'm gonna use this one right here, which is the gold one. I'm gonna take the Morphe 501 brush. This is my favorite highlighting brush ever. So I'm just taking a little bit of highlighter. I don't know how I feel about it yet. I don't know. I don't know. Alright, so now on to the lip products. So I think I'm going to try all of them for you guys. Uh, I'm probably going to end up wearing the nude one. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to go in with this one right here. This one is in the shade Provoked. So it's like the more nude one. It's kind of like a muted brown shade right here. Then this is like a gold metallic. I'm going to take a little bit of the metallic powder and just put it on top. Like, I see a little bit of shimmer, but it's not, like, it doesn't look how it looks on the freaking packaging, you know? So it's definitely more of a nude. It's more of, like, a cool tone nude, which is not really my thing. But if you like cool tone nudes, I think that this is very pretty. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with this one right here. This is the pink one, and it's in the shade Wild. So I really like this color because it has like a super vibrant pink and the metallic eyeshadow that comes with it is gold. So I just feel like this one's going to be super pretty. So this one is definitely a little bit streaky um, compared to the nude one, which makes sense because this is such a vibrant color. So I'm just having to like work with it a little bit more. pretty I actually just like the pink color on its own um, with the eyeshadow on top it just kind of settled into the patchiness of it so I don't feel like it's that smooth looking um, but it has the exact same feel as the last one like a lipstick and it kind of dried down um, it's okay I feel like these are not for like everyday use if you are someone who's a beginner in makeup I don't think you're gonna like these just because it's kind of like a hassle you know what I mean you'd be better off just getting a lipstick girl and going about your day but I think for someone who's like into makeup like myself and just wants to test out something new and different I think these are cool so I'm gonna go in with the shade passionate this is the red one. Oh wow look at that red okay Maybelline I love the pigment and this one doesn't seem streaky at all so the one that's streaky in my opinion is definitely that pink one but this red is like going on really nice all right let me stop talking before I mess up Oh my god, this red one is everything. Alright, so I'm going to take a brush for this one because it is a red powder, so I don't really want it to stain my um, fingertips. So I'm just going to take it on an eyeshadow brush. Okay, so this one is definitely my favorite. I feel like the metallic powder in here is not as vibrant but I don't think it's supposed to be it's supposed to just kind of like give your red lipstick a little bit of a sheen um this one is definitely my favorite that red applied like beautifully it wasn't streaky or anything and it's beautiful like wow but keep in mind that this is more of like a lipstick so it will transfer and you know it could be a hot mess if you forget you have red lipstick on and so my lash glue is still drying so you know just don't mind that but um yeah so I'm gonna go throughout the day it is now what time is it girl it is 10 48 so I am going to go throughout my day I might do a couple check-ins not sure yet I may I may not 
um but as of right now the foundation looks pretty good i'm here for it i think that it looks good on the skin like it's not too heavy or anything like that and i applied about four pumps of foundation so i know that's a lot but like that's just how i roll <laughs> so um yeah i'm gonna check in with you guys throughout the day and then at the end of the day i will come back and show you guys my final thoughts on the foundation and all the rest of these products hey y'all i'm in the car i wanted to show y'all how my foundation looks in the car i just said that um so it is 11:08, so it's only been like 20 minutes but i wanted y'all to see like how good the foundation looks and you know the sunlight situation so the color definitely matches pretty okay the sun is trying to play right now but the sun the color pretty much matches really well um i think the foundation looks really good even though it's a matte foundation it's not like dry matte i feel like that primer definitely helped it um i'm here for it i think it looks really good so yeah i'll update you guys throughout the day but i just wanted to show you guys in the car because you know sunlight will really get you together when it comes to your makeup so, so it is now four o'clock on the dot and i am here for this foundation um i did do a check-in when i was outside and it looked even better outside and i wanted to go ahead and end this wear test here because i'm about to take a nap and um i really don't feel like sleeping in my makeup you know so um yeah but i'm here for the foundation it literally looks the exact same as it did when i put it on earlier this morning it just looks really good on the skin. As the day went by, it didn't make me look dry or anything like that. I feel like that could have something to do with this primer. So I'm going to keep testing this primer out. I do like the little beauty blender thing. I think this is nice. Um, If you like sponges, I would recommend this. I personally just don't really like sponges like that. I'm more of like a brush type of girl. So I don't know if I'm going to use this again. But for the application of the day, it did really well. Eyeshadow palette is definitely a no for me. I just... I can't get with it. I don't like the eyeshadows in here. I don't even like the highlighter in here. Um, this was just a fail. As far as the lip products goes, I definitely really, really like this red lip. Um, I ate like several times today. I had wings. I was drinking with a straw, of course, and it's still like on my lips and it has not faded. I haven't touched up not one bit. Um, it does transfer a little bit, so it did come off on my finger, but it hasn't got like around my mouth or anything like that. And I had hot wings, so that should just tell you that this thing is no joke um if you are going to try these out i would just go ahead and just try the red one out these are not that good um the nude one is not my type of nude and then the pink one is okay but i just feel like if you are trying to try these out and you want to make sure you have a good experience definitely try out the red one because i mean it's very comfortable to wear it's beautiful it has not moved at all since i put it on but um yeah that is really the end of the video i hope you guys enjoyed make sure you subscribe to my channel on your way out and i'll see you guys in my next video bye